Hey guys, what's up? Today I got a battle. This is Yu Yu Match against Fatal Fate. And, um, yeah, I had one before this with, again, the same team. But, uh, he left because he led, led with an Arcanine. I had led with my Shame, and I went for the sub, and he went for, I think, Morning Sun just to see if I had Earth Power or whatever. But then, basically, I just subseeded, and he switched out when I still had a sub up. So, I didn't need to sub on the switch or anything like that, and then I killed his Machamp because I two-hit KO it with C-Flare, and then he went back to Arcanine, I don't know, and just left because he's like, oh, I have nothing for Shaman, so I'm like, that's a lie, but all right. So anyways, uh, this one I'm going to leave as Machamp. Not a very good option, but I figure, eh, might as well. He's going to get a crit U-turn as I go for the Stone Edge because I didn't want to go for the Dynamic Punch because of um, Golurk. So, uh, yeah, I went for the Stone Edge, but I can stay in here, go for the Dynamic Punch. I figure he can't really do too much to me, and my champs, eh, not that useful. I mean, yeah, for P2, but P2's faster, and I should be able to do, you know, as much damage as I have. But he switches out to Darmanitan, and he was all like, oh, that's really weird that you would stay in and just take Life Orb damage. I'm like, well, I'm still going to hate your Suicune. I mean, it's going to do quite a bit, and I'm going to confuse, and I could, you know, if you hit yourself, I might be able to, you know, two-hit KO or something. Who knows? So, uh, yeah, I did that, um, but, you know, I'm going to switch to Golurk here, fairly obvious, Thunderbolt, just to get rid of Machamp, and, uh, that's end up going to not do anything because I'm ground type. I think he's choice by how he switched out, and, uh, yeah, he switched to Suicune, so Shadow Punch doesn't really do much. Go to Empoleon, he's going to roar me right back out to my Golurk, and I'm like, okay, <laughs> but, uh, here I'm just going to go back to Shaman because I figure... It's never good to switch to the same thing twice. I mean, he's probably got Scald and, like, Sleep Talk and Rest, but... I mean, I guess he could have had Ice Beam, but I'm just like, just in case he has, like, HP Electric or something weird. I don't know. Plus, you know, he does get the burn, which is fine because of Natural Cure, and uh, I'm going to be able to switch out of that. Here, I'm going to go for the Lead Sheet. I figure Zapdos might want to come in, and it'll do more to him than a Seed Flare would. Um... Although this is also a good option. But again, you know, Lead Sheet can't hit me, so it's not a big deal for the magic bounce. But uh, yeah, I'm going to switch out to Empoleon. He's going to Thunder Wave me, which is fine. I don't really care. I'm going to go for the Ice Beam here. And uh, that is actually going to do a lot. Uh, I didn't think it would do quite that much, but, you know, meh. Here I figure he's going to Roost, and he's obviously faster than me, even without the Paralysis. So uh, I'm going to go for the Scald, hope for the Burn, because it's going to do slightly more than Ice Beam. Well, Ice Beam is 95 because he roosted and it's not flying type anymore. And Scald's 120. So it's quite a bit more. And, uh, you know, like I said, the Burn Chance can't bounce that back. Uh, so, yeah. Unfortunately, I'm not going to get it. But I'm going to go for the Scald one more time as he uh, keeps going for the Nightshade and stuff. But that's not really a big deal because... He's just not using it every turn, so I'm kind of restoring most of it with my leftovers. But here I figure he's going to roost. Perfect opportunity to switch to my Miss Magus. Yes, he does have Nightshade, but he also has Thunder Wave Roost, and I'm guessing U-Turn? Or uh, potentially Psychic, maybe? I don't know. Um, could also be a Screen or Wish. But uh, he just flat switches, so I guess it's not... Well, it could be U-Turn because he didn't want to get hit with a Shadow Ball. But I go for the sub just so he can't paralyze me. And he's in on his uh, P2. So I'm going to go for the Calm Mind. I figure, you know, Toxic Recover, Discharge with Thunderbolt and Ice Beam is the usual fare for uh, Porygon 2. So I'm pretty good. And after that plus one, he doesn't break my sub. So I'm like, okay, this battle is pretty much over. I know a Suicune has Roar, and I'm not sure why he's not switching to it. Like, after you saw my sub, you should have just switched right to Suicune. Yeah, it probably would have taken a plus one Thunderbolt at most, but it should be able to live that. And because he's not doing that, he's basically going to lose, because I am literally just going to set up all over his face. He can't break my subs in one hit, uh, which means I can get up lots of Calm Minds, and, you know, after a while he won't even be able to break them in two hits. And that's not going to be good, which is, I believe, right here. I'm going to, yes, I'm going to survive with a combination of plus two and then plus three. So now he's like, well, fuck, I gotta switch out to my Suicune, but he picked the really dumb time to do it. I mean, yeah, I could have went for another Calm Mind, and I probably wouldn't have been able to oak him with a plus four Shadow Ball. But I wasn't about to get greedy. I just wanted to have enough boost to be able to two-hit KO his Porygon, too, because I didn't want him, like, recovering all over my face. 
And you're going to see here in a second that this hidden power fighting is just barely a 2-hit KO at this point. So I picked, you know, perfect amount of time. But um, since I'm already plus 3 and, I mean, he's got a Golurk, which I can easily kill with Stab Shadow Ball and Outspeed very easily. Um, maybe even if he's Scarfed, I think. I'm not certain. Uh, no, I don't think so. I'm going to say no, because I think it's 343 for base 55s with Scarf. And uh, 105 would be like 338. Um, either way, uh, he's going to go for the Toxic as I go for the sub. Once again, I am just not letting him status me. I don't even want a Paralysis, to be completely honest. So, yeah, and then he ends up running because, like I said, you know, Golurk dies and then everything's like Suicune dies easily. P2 can't do anything to me. Zapdos probably can't either because he's probably Scarfed. And then, um, what else did he have? I don't remember. Oh, Zatu, which obviously dies to Shadow Ball. So, uh, yeah, he just ran, saved himself like five or six turns of me killing everything he had uh, before they got an attack except Zapdos, but even that, he might break the sub, but it's like, ooh, big deal. So, yeah, so uh, it's kind of a short battle. Well, not really. I mean, it was still 22 turns, and like I said, it was just you missed just the sweep part. But, um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all tomorrow.